In fall 2001, cyber artist Remo Campopiano and his New England Robotics Art Club descended on downtown Providence, Rhode Island in their white van loaded with robotic water spiders. The club, with students aged 10 to 13, built and programmed the water spiders as part of a public art high-tech exhibition. The water spiders used the Parallax Basic Stamp 2, an easy-to-program microcontroller designed for real-world interfacing. The Basic Stamp provides all I.O. functions in the robots, each of which operates under user control on a different radio control frequency. The RC receiver outputs a pulse width on two channels, which are inputs measured by the Basic Stamp. The Basic Stamp stores the pulse widths and performs some math calculations to provide proportional control and mixing of the two motors. Each water spider is propelled by two 24-volt motors powered from two 12-volt motorcycle batteries. Using solid-state relays, the basic stamp can switch direction of the motors forward or backward. The spiders operate randomly when not being overridden by radio control. Here's how it works. The paddle wheel-like fins on each hemisphere turn to propel the spider across the water at approximately 2 feet per second. Each hemisphere has its own motor drive. The battery rotates on the fin axis, allowing its mass to remain central. The spiders can move in wide or tight curves by varying motor speed and direction. This allows the water spider to turn on a dime. Once all spiders are ready, they are gently hoisted into the river one by one. The robotic club members navigate their spider to the center of the waterway and let it continue with its random routines. The students spread out along the canal, monitoring their spider's performance, making adjustments as necessary, and talking with the visitors. The New England Robotics Art Club students are from Pawtucket, Seacock, Rehoboth, and Swansea, Massachusetts. They meet twice a week for workshops at Camp Popiano's home and his studio in Johnston, Rhode Island. Along with the fathers, the students learn and perform every aspect of building the water spiders, including sweat soldering, copper tubing, forming styrofoam, mold making, building electrical circuits, programming the basic stamp, and some mechanical design. The kids absolutely love this club and they are very proud of what they have accomplished, taking ownership of the entire process. Tear a big hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! We did it! I can't believe it, we did it! And they worked! Good show you guys!